welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the American League All-Stars taking on the expansion era boomers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now, and on the mound in this one, Tom Seaver. Leading it's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Here's Shohei Otani. From the Los Angeles Angels, the designated hitter. One Shohei down, base is empty. Otani. This one popped up. Murray under it. That's out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. That one ripped left field. And out of here. He'll touch them all. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's Trout. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And it's off the wall. And that's a two-out double. He was that all over that one. Bro, I love the no, approach he had right me. there with that pitch. Not trying to do you. too much, but still Shut looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Next one is that's off the, the play. And that's ball three. Three one. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. And that one is gone over the right field wall. John Carlos Stanton blasts one out to the opposite way. And they add on. It's 3-0. There was a fastball down the middle. I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch. But once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. Base is empty with two away. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That misses the zone. Oh. Now two balls and a strike. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. And Ricky Henderson the grab. But the long ball was working. Bottom of the first. Now it's going to be Ricky game. Henderson. No, no left fielder. Ricky. Henderson. The 1-1 is fouled off. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. That's the ball. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Tony Gwynn will hit next. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. You'd be hard-pressed to find a better contact hitter than Tony Gwynn. The ball basically stood still for him. If it's near the plate, he'd get the barrel on it. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. Got it by him for the K. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, nope. table oh. setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Hammered. Base hit. 
These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. And yeah, the batter now, Mike Schmidt. Oh. Check swing, no appeal, two and it's two and one. Next one oh, off the plate it. inside. And now three and one. Reggie Jackson hoping for a chance. He would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boog, plenty of power in that bat. And they'd love to give him a shot here. No. Over to first, and he's safe. Junior leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three-two now. That one ripped. That's back there. Out of here. A two-run homer, and they cut into the lead. It's 3-2. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Reggie Jackson. Big time power. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That one drifts inside. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And he deals. And that's ball that's four. Ball four. Take your base. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Whoa. Next offering is down low. Otani picks over. Jackson dives back in safely. And it's even up. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. 3-2 now. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Mike Piazza in the on-deck circle. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And the right-hander deals. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Not what he wanted to do there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. And the batter now, Mike Piazza. Swaying in a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Good eye right there. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. And now, Cal Ripken Jr. Two outs. Bases are full. Got him swinging. New inning getting started, and it's Rafael Devers in the box. And a strike in there. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Here's Tim Anderson. Shortstop. Tim Anderson. And here it comes. 
Softly hit to third. Schmidt goes to second. Hey. Safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. So up next, Alejandro Kirk. The Toronto Blue Jays. The catcher. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Now one away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So now credit that, the pitcher for having him amazing. out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Devers at second. Anderson at first. One gone. And there's ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. One down. And now the DH, Shohei Otani. The one two. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Out of here. Grand slam. Shohei Otani goes deep, and they add to the lead. It's 7 2. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock, it's the grand slam to drive in for. Really good job at the plate. Vita Blue taking over on the mound. He's into the game with the bases empty. Here is Aaron Judge. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That misses the zone. Two and two. Action in the pen down there. Catfish Hunter getting ready to go. Swing and a ball popped up. Murray calls it in two away. Oh, it might be a night game, but it's pretty hot out there. And I don't have to tell you, partner, you're sweating pretty good over there. Makes this long inning that he's grinding through out there a little extra taxi. Two two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But the damage was done right here as you get another look at the Grand Slam home run. It's Back here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Joe Morgan. 2-1 now. There's yeah. a strike. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter. It just can eat you up, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Swings and misses, struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. Got him. The big right, he strikes out the side. And welcome back. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. The left fielder, Giancarlo. 1-1 one, one now. Late with the swing there. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Just outside. Two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. The pitch. Started after it. Appeal to first. No swing. There's a swing and a drive. Gwynn raging back towards the wall. Racing back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. 
Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's made that proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back oh. when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More plate That's discipline fun. than dad. Line drive, speared at first. That's Takes it out. himself. Two up, two down. Now that is. Two outs, base is empty. Rafael Devers up to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. The wind and the pitch. And he walked Take him. Your base. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Down and in, Two moved and his feet. That ah. one in for a strike, two and two. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. I think the key is arm. Welcome back. Now it's the power speed combo. Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating the these hitters. He I mean, doesn't look My like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. And that'll fall for a base hit. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. Now, Reggie Jackson up the middle into the outfield base hit. Schmidt around second on his way to third in there oh, safely. Safe. Everything came together Number perfectly for him Number right there. 33. Really nice job staying up the Eddie. middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too Murray. much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And a big swing and a miss. Runners are at the corners. One away. Swing and he breaks his bat. Gathers and throws to first. Murray retired. Now well, that actually it. works out Get for the hitter. If it's not a broken right. bat, it's hit hard enough for a double play. But with the slower roller, defense does a nice job at least getting one out of it. Hit hard. That gets through. Not in time. He's safe. It's 7 to 3. Play at the play. Got him. But one run does score on the play before the end. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. Fights it off. You'll see another. The one two. Come back to the mound. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. So the lineup flips over. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Pitch misses. Full count three and two. The 3-2 is off ball, the base. outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, you know this guy now wants that. to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Step off throw to first. Hey. Altuve back safely. And 
And that is cut on and missed. It's two and two. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And yeah, there's two away. And at first, it's Aaron Judge now. Aaron Judge. Step off, throw to first. Hey, Altuve yeah. back safely. Well, you really couldn't ask for a better guy to be the face of the game of baseball. I mean, this is a guy that is so team first oriented, doesn't like to talk about himself, will always defer and talk about his teammates. Just impressive. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. And a swing and a miss. That's out number three. AL leaves a pair. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, That's stepping in, job. the slugging yeah. shortstop, Cal Ripton yeah. Jr. Junior. And a 1-1. One -one. Oh. First signs of bullpen movement here in the early going. Jorge Lopez up and loosening in the pen. Romano, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Can't get there. Base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fourth. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. And here is Joe Morgan. That one catches the zone. One and two. Ripken stands at second with no outs. Breaks his bat and pops it up. One down. And stepping in is the speedy Ricky Henderson, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Runner leads away at second. And it's filled up. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So two down now, and here is Tony Gwynn. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well, outstanding on the defensive end. The 2-1. And that one fouled off. Runner at second, two down. Here's the 2-2, and misses inside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. So now three and two. Ground ball up the middle. Fires to first on the run, and that is that. So a leadoff double, but they can't cash. Giancarlo Stanton getting ready to hit. The left fielder, Giancarlo. Swing and a miss struck him out, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one. Just tough to catch up to. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And back Your down to start the clear. bottom of the fifth and taking now, over on the mound, Jorge Lopez. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Ken Griffey Jr. now at the plate. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So a man aboard. Mike Schmidt digs in now. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Next offering yeah, way off the plate. Yeah. 
Tried to check his swing there. Now an appeal to first. And Joe McDonald says he went around. Man at first. Here's some real power at the plate. Reggie Jackson. Jackson. And now two balls and a strike. Now it's Jordan Romano out of the bullpen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Jordan Romano. Off the mark there. And the count is three and one. Okay, so Jordan Romano, a guy who never used cologne until a teammate gave him a bottle in 2021. He's been using it for games ever since. He rotates three, and that should be extra bases. Griffey around second. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now, Eddie Murray. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. One out and a runner at second. Now a screamer into the outfield. And he makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Now here is Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Jackson on third with two out. pitch and yeah, that's downstairs and outside Cal Ripken Jr. waits on deck the pitch downstairs and it misses ball four man that's a tough one to take on the full count but I guess he saw it really well it's a really nice plate appearance Right-handed reliever. There's a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Fouls it off, still one and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. One run in the... And welcome back. And now the shortstop, Tim Anderson. The shortstop, Tim Anderson. Missing inside, ball. two balls and a strike. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Close no one, ball. doesn't get the call. And the count is three and one. That one is hammered right field, back there. And that ball is out of here. So he blasts one out the other way, and they add a run. It's 8-4. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over-anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. On the mound now, Catfish Hunter. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. Just looked like he now pushed better. that throw. The Not a long base. distance, okay. so something definitely oh, broke down good. mechanically. Sometimes the shorter throws can be harder to make. You don't see many high throws from second baseman over to first because they usually don't have to put much on it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. 
Shohei Otani up to the dish. Cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. They all pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. Aaron Judge in 2016 got 95 plate appearances and hit just 179. He kept that number 179 in the notes section on his iPhone the entire offseason. And then in 2017, he had 52 homers and won the Rookie of the Year. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for a strike three. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Next offering oh, upstairs. Up. Yeah, that rookie season for Aaron Judge makes the all-star team, wins the home run derby down there in Miami, and just really step it into the bright lights of being a superstar player in this league. That's the the next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Kicks and fires. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Back to work, 3-2 now. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Three, two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the pitch. Got him swinging. Good job at damage control right there. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now eight. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Martin Perez. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. And a count two and one. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Oh. Next pitch is outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Liam Hendricks, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Got him swinging. Perfectly executed 12-6 curveball right there. And with that kind of break, if you can drop it in below the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching wedge. The wind of the pitch. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Very strong coming out of the pen so far Number as he punches Number out the first two batters he's faced in no this way. one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric Three, these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Welcome back. Here Top we of inning number here seven. Here's Stanton now. The left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Next offering that's misses, that's and it's two and one. Yeah. 
Swings through that. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. That misses. And the count is filled up. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., the next to hit. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Righty delivers. And now two and one. Ground ball left side into the outfield base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield and just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Devers now. Ball. Next offering upstairs. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. The bat number seven, short -term. Tim at the play. Tim Anderson flashed his power last time, blasted one over the wall to the opposite field. The pitch on the ground could be two. The underhand flip to Morgan, and that's two. So one hit is all they get. Seventh inning stretch time. It's a lead for the American League, eight to four. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. And now it's going to be Ken Griffey Jr. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. And now the lefty. Two one. If you're gonna get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's gotta look over the shoulder and say, I'm just gonna keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Ball. Next one misses all three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count. Perez, oh, keeping him close. Junior on at first, nobody out. Another throw over, oh, and he's back okay. again. At the belt and fires. Liner snagged it first. Dives for the bag, got him. Double play. The designated hitter, number nine, Reggie. Next is the designated hitter, Jackson. Reggie Jackson. Left-hand hitter waits. Fought off foul. Left-hand batter waits. And that's ball nope, four. that's ball four. Runner, take your base. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly Eddie. trying to attack the zone either. Murray. Ground ball, Vlad Jr. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. We go to the eighth. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. The catcher, Alejandro Kirk. And he walked him. Ball four, runner, take your base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Nobody out, runner at first. to count one and two. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Got it by him for the K. Shohei Otani getting ready to hit one for three. The one-one. 
Swing and a high fly ball to left. And Ricky Henderson the grab. And they get Otani for the out. Two down. The right fielder, number 99. Man at first. Aaron. And now the right fielder, Judge. Aaron Judge. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ball to strike. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Griffey in pursuit. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that ends the... Liam Hendricks out of the bullpen. Now pitching for the American League. And here's the catcher, Mike Piazza. And the righty deals. In for a strike. And the count one and two. Swings and misses. Had him out front for strike three. So digging in, Cal Ripton Jr. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And he deals. Struck him out without a swing. He's got to be frustrated with that call. No matter, number eight. Two outs, base is empty. Man. Digging in, Yo. Joe Morgan. Morgan. The one, two. That one just no, that misses. Means, that's ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two and two. Morgan tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. Eric Summers kill with the call. 3-2 now. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So the batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. Fouled off again, and it remains 3-2. And a pitch. And ball, ball four ball, to aboard. And now here is Tony Gwynn. Pitch misses two there. Ball. Now two balls and a strike. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Kicks and deals. This one lifted in the air, left field, and puts the squeeze on that one. And that will end the inning. And welcome back. And now the center fielder, Mike Trout. The center fielder, number 27. The wide to kick the pitch. And fouled off. Caught him looking for the K. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And a pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Henderson going back, back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Two outs. High fly ball down the left field line. This one's got a chance. And that one is out of here. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. goes deep, and they tack one on the board. It's 9-4, and their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog, and right now for these guys, clearly it's the long ball. Now it's Devers at the plate. The wind of the pitch. You now with the shift on, hits right into it. On to Murray, and Devers is set down. That's the third out, but add on one more as the solo shift. Gregory Soto gets the call from the pen. 
Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And it is two to one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Paul Blackburn getting loose out there. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind and the pitch. The punch out there, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played, but a slider in the 90s still catches your attention. Even if you're sitting on the pitch, good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. That one misses. Oh. Two balls and a strike. Two and one. There's a strike. Ground ball right side. That's and it goes just foul. And here it comes. And yeah, that's too high. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Swings and misses. That's his second strikeout. So now the DH spot, Reggie Jackson. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Two and two. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Smoked into left, base hit. Around first, heading for two. And he's got his second double of the game. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. So up next, Eddie Murray. Man on second, two down. To third, Devers. Throw to first, ball game. And the American League slug their way to a win in this one. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ballgame to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next guy stepping up and getting it.